Namaskar. I'm Nina Gulati, founder director of the Triveni School of Dance in Brookline. We are delighted to be a part of Revels Connect Musical Connections. We had a wonderful time almost 30 years ago when we collaborated with Revels and participated in their Christmas Revels. Today, we are going to give you a glimpse of a very beautiful art form. Indian classical dance started thousands of years ago in the Hindu temple as a way of communicating with God. So when the dancers bring the hands up, they are greeting God, the teacher, and everybody else. According to Hindu mythology, our creator Brahma told Shiva, the lord of dance, you have to entertain the gods and goddesses. He agreed, but he said, I need musical accompaniment. So the four-headed Brahma himself played the Tala. His wife Saraswati accompanied on the Veena. His devotee Nandi the bull played the drums. And the dance went on and on. It is also said in our history of dance, the Natya Shastra, that Shiva's body movement is the movement of this entire universe. His speech is the universal speech. His ornaments are the moon and the stars. He is the one I bow to, for he is the embodiment of truth. He is Shivam. They often compare Indian classical dance to the Western ballet because they are both ancient art forms and they both require many, many years of hard work and dedication. But what makes Indian classical dance unique is our elaborate mime, where a dancer uses a variety of hand gestures facial expressions and body postures to relate themes from Hindu mythology. In expressing emotions, the most important feature is our eyes. And one of the verses in the Natya Shastra says, where the hand goes, the glance follows. Where the glance goes, the heart follows. Where the heart goes, the mood follows. Where there is mood, that is the flavor presented to you. So you get a taste of what this beautiful mime is, our first dance, which will be in Kuchipudi style, will be a dance invoking the blessings of God. And I will ask Pranay Chopra to demonstrate that story and also say a few words about the Kuchipudi dance style, which is from the Andhra state. Hello everyone, my name is Pranay Chopra and it is my pleasure to introduce you to the Kuchipudi dance style. Like Nina Aunty mentioned, Kuchipudi comes from a small village in Andhra Pradesh, where it originally was an art form that was used, where groups of men would travel around the countryside and use this dance form to entertain the villagers, but really to explain complex metaphysical truths from Hindu philosophy and metaphysics. So within Kuchipudi, we have a very strong connection to storytelling, to dramatics, and to entertaining the audience. Today, we will be presenting a traditional invocation known as Jemu Jemu, which is a song that is asking for blessings from Bala Tripura Sundari, who is the patron deity of the Kuchipuri village itself. Like Ninanti mentioned, you will see a variety of different hand gestures, facial expressions, and body postures that will explain the story in which we are praying. So that you may follow along, I will demonstrate the story for this item. I praise you, O oh beautiful goddess, the one who plays the Veena in her lap. She is the ruler of this entire universe. Like Cupid, she shoots arrows made of pure jasmine flowers. 
She takes the whole universe as the ornament in her hair. She lives in the Kuchipuri village where she beautifully is placed there and protects all. We all come together to sing her praises. When I get a glimpse of your form, I am overwhelmed with joy and I experience enlightenment. Jayamu Jayamu, choreographed by Padma Bhushan, Dr. Venpati Chinna Satyam, and presenting this item with me will be Ritika Gurjar.
And I hope that you got to see some of the stories that I explained, as well as Nina Anti, there present within the dance. As you see, our language of hand gestures can be very complex. These actually are specifically written in the scriptural texts, such as the Natya Shastra, which goes back to 400 BC. One of these shlokams, or scriptural verses, that explains a variety of different ways we can use the body. Single-handed or double-handed gestures, movements of the limbs, movements of the feet, the way that we can walk, different gaits, such as an animal or a character, even ways that we move the neck and the eyes. To give you a demonstration on how rich this storytelling is, which is known as Abhinaya, which is essentially we are carrying the viewer towards some kind of emotion or feeling, I will present the Asamyutta Hasta Shlokam, which shows all of the different hand gestures, single-handed hand gestures that we can use to tell the stories. Patakas Tripatako Ardhapataka Kartari Mukaha Mayurakyo Ardhachandrascha Arala Shukatundakaha Mushtischa Shikharakyascha Kapitta Kataka Mukaha Kataka Mukaha Suchi Chandrakala Padmakosha, Sarpashirastatha, Mrigashisha, Simha Mukaha, Kangulos, Alapadmakaha, Chaturo, Brahmaras Chaiva, Hamsasyo, Hamsapakshakaha, Sandamsho, Mukulas Chaiva, Tamra Chuda, Trishulakaha, Itiya samyuta hastanam ashta vimshati ririta. So you saw within that verse all of the different hand gestures listed that we can use. But how do we use them? Actually, for each one of the hand gestures, there are additional scriptures which des describe how one hand gesture can be used for a variety of different things. Just to give you a glimpse, the very first hand gesture that is listed, patakam, we will show originally means a flag, but what can we use this hand gestures to show? First, we can show Natyarambhe, which is the beginning position of the dance. We can also use to show Varivahe, which is the rain clouds in the sky. We can use to show Vane, which is the forest and the trees. Vastuni Shedane, we can use to show denial or objection. Nadyam, river. Khandane, ways that we can show cutting something or a sword. Vayo, wind. Shayane, sleeping. Gamanodhyame, a path in which to walk. Ganatape, sorrow or uneasiness. Kapa tapadvane, opening or closing of a door. Samatve, equality. Tushnim bhavavidarshane, silence. Talapatre, something to write on. So you can see that in variety, in using the variety of other hand gestures, this one hand gesture patakam, we can use to show many things. Of course, now in modern times, we've found ways to use these hand gestures to also explain not only the stories of the past, but as well as modern stories. So we hope you got a glimpse of Abhinaya, and now on to the rhythm. Our next dance will be in Odissi style, which is from the state of Urissa. It is spiritually uplifting. The music is very lyrical. Movements are very sculpturesque. And I want you to see the beauty of this movement as demonstrated by Priyanka Subhash. She will do some of the basics of the Odyssey style, starting with the number two, four, and five steps. Ta itti nakkarti ni ta. Itti nakkarati ni ta 
इति नकड़ती जे जे नाती ना दिना किट तक ता इति नकड़ती ता इति नकड़ती ता इति नकड़ती जे जे नाती ना दिना किट तक ता इति नकड़ती ता इति नकड़ती ता इति नकड़ती ने जे जे नाती ना दिना किट द डांस इन ओडिसी स्टाइल इज कॉल्ड बट्टू it is an abstract dance bringing to you beautiful sculptural movements but what it brings along with these are forms showing different instruments used in the dance it will show the veena the string instrument the flute the drum and the manjira Joining Priyanka in performing Battu are Anvita Kalpande and Rachel Farulo. Ah 
is the most complicated, the most sophisticated, I think, in the whole world. Most of the world works on the basic octave using the eight count. We do that too, but then we take the eight counts and split them into three. Ta, ki, ta, one, two, three. Then four. Ta, ka, di, mi. Ta, ka, di, mi. Then go into five. Taka takita taka takita seven taka dimi takita going into nine taka dimi taka takita so what you're going to see now a demonstration by Omi Amara Singha who will show the three most popular rhythms the three which is takita and then five Taka, taki, ta, and finally the four. Taka, de, mi. Omi? Taka, tita, tita, 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 taka, taka, tita, tita, taka, tita, 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 taka, tita, 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 Tam sarita ke jinu tam sarita ke jinu tat 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 kar dom tam sarita ke jinu tam sarita tat 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 kar dom tat 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 kar dom tat 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 kar dom tat 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 kar dom tat tat kar dom 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 Taka taki da taka taki da taka taki da deta taka taki da taka taki da taka taki da deta taka taki da taka taki da taka taki da deta taka taki da taka taki da taka taki da deta taka taki da taka taki da taka taki da deta taka taki da taka taki da taka taki da deta taka taki da deta taka taki da deta taka dini 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 taka Taki da tadi gina da taka dimi taka dimi da taki da tadi gina da da dita tadi gina da dita tadi gina da tadi gina tadi gina tadi gina da dita tadi gina dita tadi gina da tadi gina tadi gina tadi da dita tadi gina da dita tadi gina da tadi gina tadi gina tam da taka jono taka tari da jono taka tari da jono taka tari. Ta 
tam dim ta dim ta ta ka jun ta di ta it ta jun ta di ta it ta jun ta di ta it ta jun ta di ta ta ka dina ta ta ka dina ta ta ka dina Bharatnatyam is the oldest and the purest of the classical dance styles. It brings to you very complex rhythmic patterns. The movements are very geometric as opposed to the Kuchipudi or Odissi which have more uh, fluid movements of the body. And the most popular dance in the Tilana is in the Bharatnatyam repertoire. It brings to you beauty of rhythm through subtle eye and neck gestures interspersed with sculpturesque poses as seen in our Hindu temples. The music for this dance was composed by the famous Bala Murli Krishnaji who is a devotee of Lord Krishna. So his songs always end with a short verse in praise of Krishna. So that you may follow the story I will ask Gayatri Deodhar to demonstrate it. The dancer in the role of the devotee expresses her joy as she sees Krishna. She says, I see your blossoming face and sweet smile. I hear the melody of your flute and it fills me with joy. Cupid's arrow has struck now, so please come quickly, O oh Lord. Joining Gayatri in performing the Tillana are Anika Lathrop and Deepal Nadda. <laughs> Tatatim, <laughs> tatatim, 
ಸತ ಧೀಮ ತನ್ನ
So friends, you've had a glimpse of three of the most beautiful styles of Indian classical dance. We started with Kuchipudi, next you saw Odissi, and then the Bharatnatyam style. Now you're going to have the pleasure of seeing all three styles being performed in the same dance. A beautiful choreography set to music by the famous late Kelu Charan Mohapatriji. He composed this with Rag Bhageshwari. Joining me are Prane Chopra and Omi Amara Singham. Ah, 
Ding ding. 